A hero's welcome awaited these 12 National Guardsmen on Saturday afternoon. The soldiers had spent a year supporting peacekeeping operations in Kosovo. And their responsibility was primarily the uh, eastern half of Kosovo. And units assigned to that headquarters uh, did perform security operations in order to uh, provide security for free and uh, safe elections in Kosovo. Five elections in all. You can kind of expect over there uh, how their elections will go, depending on how important the elections are to them. Because they have so many elections, uh, you start experiencing uh, voter fatigue. NATO has kept peacekeeping troops in Kosovo since the alliance intervened in the region in 1999. Kosovo declared independence from Serbia in 2008. Riots this summer show the region still faces unrest, but Becker says the situation is much better than it was a few years ago. It's been a lot of progress. You've seen a lot of uh, improvements both in uh, infrastructure and in uh, relationships of the uh, individuals that are there in the country. Meek and Becker say working with other NATO units was educational. Having them augmented into uh, some of the different positions that you must work with every day and, uh, and, and getting through the language barriers and uh, uh, the product differences that the United States uses versus other countries. Um, so it's an opportunity to uh, learn from other or nations of how their militaries perform and how they uh, do different missions. It was a great uh, learning experience for the soldiers. In Osage Beach, Garrett Bergquist, KRCG 13 News.